Hi, Wally Brown here with GAF. Today we're going to go over how to do an inside corner. So we've got a couple options for you. Um, we have other videos how to install this. This is off our preformed, our universal corner. And we also have our big inside corner. So what I'm going to show you today is another option where you actually don't have to use one of these. You can actually utilize the field flashing membrane, what we, what we call pig ear. So I've kind of got it set up right here. If you'll notice, this flashing goes in here, dies into the corner. This one comes around. There is no hole cut in this corner. We're actually going to utilize this membrane instead of using an accessory. Now I'm doing an inside corner, so that's going to trap a lot more heat because that heat really can't escape. Or an outside corner, that heat can escape away. So I'm probably going to be welding this right around four or five. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure you got it tacked. You want it nice and tight here at these angle changes. Now what you want to do is you want to do this angle change first. This piece runs back into the wall. If you don't weld this first, when you start taking this in the wall, watch what happens right here. It'll pull it up. But once you got it welded, now you're going to have to cut it. So my next weld, I'm going to take my gun, I'm going to stick it back in this corner as far as I can get it. I'm going to weld this angle change all the way out. All right, now it can't go anywhere, I mean. So now my next weld, I'm going to stick my gun, I'm going to weld up vertical right here. Now it's just a process of welding this ear out. Okay, now once that's done, I can weld the flat area. Pay special attention to that T-joint. All right, so I'm going to weld these together, and then I'm going to weld it to the wall. So a little trick is take a piece of metal, kind of stick it in here, kind of divorce these two. If I don't do that metal, as I'm doing this, I might accidentally weld it to the wall before I'm ready. I'm going to stick my gun all the way down in there. And just weld these pig ears together. Okay, once that's done, I can pull my metal out. Now I'm going to actually weld this to the wall. You'll notice this isn't welded solid. It doesn't have to be. I usually hold off about an inch or so and I weld the rest of it because there's so much heat in there. You want to try and get that nice and tight and then you stick your gun and you do something like that. If you do something like that, you're going to have to patch it. So just come back about an inch or so and weld the rest of it up and just leave that little bit. There's no way that can leak. 